the largest and the newest lighthouse on the river. This lighthouse existed as a family lighthouse until the Coast Guard took it over, and in 1854, the last keeper, Herman Lang, locked the doors and left this building unmanned and abandoned. Right now, this building is still an active lighthouse, but there are no longer any lighthouse keepers living here. In 1984, this lighthouse was opened up as a museum by the Hudson River Maritime Museum. In November of 2000, President Clinton signed the National Historic Lighthouse Preservation Act. It was created to turn over federally owned lighthouses to private organizations. On June 19th of 2002, the Rondout Lighthouse was transferred to the city of Kingston. Right now, this lighthouse can be rented for parties, weddings, and other private tours. feet of lumber annually. It is often said that the DNH Canal helped to build New York City. Rosendale cement that was used in the Statue of Liberty and the Brooklyn Bridge was carried by the DNH Canal. Coal dust was used in the making of Hudson River bricks. The bricks and mortar created with DNH coal was then used to build the brick buildings and sidewalks of New York City. George Murdoch. After having been employed at Sing Sing Prison, I came to the first lighthouse in 1856 with my pregnant wife, Catherine, and two small children, George and little Emma. But roughly a year later, I drowned as I was returning home from picking up supplies from town. of 79 rooms. There are 65 rooms with 14 bathrooms. This mansion showcases its Beaux Arts neoclassical styling, and the exterior is embellished with balustrades, blasters, and has a massive portico facing the river. The interior is decorated in the style of Louis XV, with 23 marble fireplaces, fine oriental rugs, silk tapestry, gold paneling, and gilded ceilings. The estate was a little over 1,600 acres and included a private nine-hole golf course. Mr. Mills employed a house staff of 24 and another 10 or so to take.